Hey everybody, Dr. O here. You're here in this course because you have a big question. How do I get more or better sleep? Well, this is a project-based learning course. The project is you and the goal is better sleep. Let's start with a simple question. How important is an extra hour of sleep? Shockingly so, actually. So how important is an hour of sleep? We can look to daylight saving time for the answer. So daylight saving time impacts about one and a half billion people in 70 countries, including in the United States where I'm from. We spring our clocks forward in March, in the spring, and then, then our clocks fall back in the fall, in November. So we magically lose an hour of sleep in March, and then we magically gain an hour of sleep in November, at least where I'm at. There is up to a 29% increase in heart attacks the day after daylight saving time in the spring when we lose an hour of sleep. So losing one hour of sleep creates a stressful and inflammatory environment that makes heart attacks more likely to occur. So let's look at the science. What does the science say? Daylight saving time and myocardial infarction, heart attacks. Should we be worried? A review of the evidence. So this, this review, looked at six studies, including a total of 87,994 cases. All six studies confirmed a higher risk or higher occurrence of myocardial infarction or heart attack in that spring shift when we lose an hour of sleep, ranging from 4 to 29%. But the largest study put the increased risk at 24%. So you can make an argument, 24% increased risk of having a heart attack after losing that hour of sleep because of daylight saving time. There are similar stats about traffic accidents and suicides as well. So here we see another one. Spring forward at your own risk. Daylight saving time and fatal car crashes. So you're more likely to have a heart attack, more likely to commit suicide, sadly, and more likely to get in a fatal car crash after losing one hour of sleep. Then on the flip side, there's actually a 21% reduction in heart attacks when daylight saving time goes the other direction. So when we, when we fall back and magically gain an hour of sleep, 21% reduction in heart attacks. So you can make the argument that the day we get an extra hour of sleep in November, here in the US anyway, is the healthiest day of the year. So imagine how healthy you would be if you gained an extra hour of sleep every night. I mean, that's what we're here for. So let's find out together. All right, I hope this video helped. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.